Here we have a number of statements about AM, and we're asked which of them is false, which of these statements isn't true. So there could be one or more false statements. So the first one says AM is inefficient in terms of power. When we talk about AM, we're talking about full AM, which is DSB with a large carrier. And for DSB with a large carrier, we know that the power efficiency is less than 33%. So it's very inefficient. So statement A is true. AM is inefficient. B says the carrier contains no information. So remember, the purpose of modulation, or the process of modulation, is encoding useful information onto a carrier. So this is the useful information. The message contains your useful information. So the, the message isn't the information, but the message contains the information. But the carrier doesn't contain any information. The carrier is simply a high-frequency sine wave. So the carrier component doesn't contain any information. So statement B is correct. The carrier contains no useful information. C, there are always two sidebands. Now that's true, there are always two sidebands, an upper sideband and the lower sideband. But the statement then goes on to say, even when the modulation index is zero. Now if m equals zero, and m represents the depth of modulation, if m equals zero, then all we have is the carrier. We have AC cosine omega CT. So, there are no sidebands, it's simply a carrier component. So the ratio of amplitude between the carrier and the sideband is determined by the depth of modulation. So if there's no modulation, then there are no sidebands. So statement C actually is false. So that would be a correct answer to this question. Let's read the remaining options in case there are any other statements that are false. Increasing the message signal amplitude increases the bandwidth. So increasing our message from something like that to something like that, how will that affect the frequency or the bandwidth? So remember, our band pass bandwidth is the difference between the highest frequency and the lowest frequency. And that's determined by the bandwidth of the message, nothing else. Neither the carrier frequency nor the amplitude of the message affects that. So increasing the message signal bandwidth increases the bandpass bandwidth, or the amplitude increases the bandwidth, is false. So amplitude doesn't affect bandwidth. There's no relationship between the two, at least not for AM, possibly for FM, or definitely for FM. So D is false and would be a correct answer to this question. F, modulation index, must be less than or equal to 1 to avoid distortion. So... Remember, that, that's true, that's a criteria. So what we have is under modulation, where the modulation index is less than one. We have perfect modulation, where m equals one, and we have over modulation, where m is greater than one. And what we generally do is we under modulate. So over modulation, is unacceptable. That's where the distortion comes in. So statement F is true. Modulation index should be 
less than or equal to 1. Statement F, or the second statement F, says 50% of the message power is contained in the upper sideband. Now notice it's saying the message power, not the signal power. So 50% of the message power is contained in the upper sideband. Now, if you consider this to be your message, then you could argue that half of the message power is in the upper sideband and half is in the lower sideband. So 50% is in the upper sideband, 50% is in the lower sideband. That doesn't mean that 50% of the signal power is in the upper sideband, but 50% of the message power is contained in the upper sideband. So that's correct. G, the AM bandwidth, is the difference between the highest frequency of the upper sideband and the lowest frequency of the lower sideband. So basically it's the upper frequency minus the lower frequency. And that bandwidth is always equal to twice the message frequency. So that's true. That, that's the definition of band pass bandwidth. The AM band pass bandwidth is twice the baseband bandwidth, yes, as we just said. So that's true. So of those statements, two of them were incorrect. So that's your final answer.